Hey guys, welcome to your Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus and Sagittarius. So if in your birth chart, Venus is sitting in the sign of Sagittarius, these messages are for you. <clears throat> this can also apply if you have Sagittarius as your seventh house as well. Um, so I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please continue to do so. Remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you do find some clarity. Um, okay, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have justice, the moon, chariot, then we have two of pentacles, ace of cups, six of pentacles, seven of cups, and king of wands. I'm sorry, knight of wands. Um, okay, so I feel like this month is about justice and about balancing and about making the right decisions. There needs to be balance in how you move forward in a situation. Um, like as far as like a love situation, you need to learn how to decide when something is, you need to know how to make a decision based off of, you know, heart and intellect. I feel like for some of you, you're trying to hide your emotions or you're being very, very guarded with um, how you feel. Um, I feel that you are, you feel the need to be very strong. Like you have to uh, remain in character of this person who doesn't get affected by love or their emotions. Um, but it's like on the inside, you could be very emotional about something. You are needing to confront these fears that you're having and moon is another card that's been showing up in a lot of the readings so a lot of people are dealing with these like um abandonment and trust issues or traumatic situations and not wanting to deal with them when it's like it doesn't go away this is just something that you need to deal with the more you suppress it the worse it becomes so some of you also may need to set boundaries with people. Maybe you feel that people um, take advantage of your emotions. Maybe you've been misunderstood. People don't understand you. People are having a hard time connecting to you. So you become very distant and cut off. Um, and just like, well, you know, they don't get me anyway. So haha, -ha, you know. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of someone who's coming off as misunderstood. So they start treating people just kind of weird or people view you and they're like, you're weird. I don't know what that is. I just kind of get like something's going on where you're being misread, but it's really because you're hiding some sort of emotional trauma. It's like, I don't know. Sometimes you feel like maybe you don't know how to show that you care or you're like, how am I closed off? Or how am I, like you might not realize something is going on with you. And you've got like these majors coming out. So these might be some pretty important things that lie at the heart of your situation here. I also get something in regards to dreams. Like you are receiving a lot of messages in your dreams or you're being very intuitive or you're having a hard time distinguishing what's real and what's an, an illusion. And it's funny, I was just talking about this on my, on my Instagram. So you might be Sagittarius with Venus and Scorpio. Um, some sort of weird conflicting energy. Like one minute you feel spiritual, the next minute, you just want to bang everybody. I don't know. It's just like something could be going on where there's a mismatch with your uh, spiritual pursuits versus your relationship pursuits. Um, some of you are only getting ideas based off of TV and fairy tale and illusions. And it's like, I don't really know what real love is because I've never experienced that or I've never been in a relationship at all. You know, so something's going on where you're like having a hard time really even understanding or grasping 
what real love is. I feel like you're struggling here. Um, I feel that sometimes you want to be <clears throat> an introvert and sometimes you don't. Um, your moods, you might be having like a lot of mood swings. Um, I also feel like someone is trying to suppress some sort of secrets. You do have a soul contract with somebody, but maybe you're needing patience before this person comes into your life. Maybe you're growing impatient, but I do see that you have a, a spiritual contract with someone on the way or someone maybe on the way to you, but they've got to work some things out. Like the both of you are going to be like some sort of reflection of one another's fears. It's like you're the same but different. Like one person has mommy issues and the other person can relate because they have daddy issues. But together, you know, you guys come to help each other in that situation. Now, I also get the energy of some of you who maybe you're already in a relationship or you're dealing with somebody and there's been some, some instability in the relationship. Maybe someone is having a fear of commitment or marriage or moving forward. And maybe you guys fell out. I'm seeing something in regards to forgiveness. Someone is having a hard time just saying, I'm sorry. It's like, just say it already. Like, what's wrong with you that you can't say that you're sorry? Um, or what's wrong with you that you can't, you know, forgive me? Like, I've apologized a thousand ways over and over again. And, you know, what gives? Like, you're not... Like I'm putting in a work, but what about you type of energy? Um, someone is also in a picture where, I don't know who it is, but someone is in your energy field that may only be coming off as wanting sex or you're, you might end up just being someone's fantasy or uh, an affair. Maybe someone is talking about a divorce, but they haven't really gone through with it yet. So they string you alone. So I am getting that. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who's not truly available. Like maybe your, your story might play out different, but for somebody I, I get like, they're supposed, they are supposed to be going through a divorce, but then they keep changing their mind or they, they're not really ready, even though they say they are. Um, something's going on where they're having a hard time disconnecting from somebody emotionally. And that, that might be you too. You also might have a, a tendency to view things, only see things through rose tinted glasses. So you, you, when someone's using you, it's hard for you to recognize it, which is making me think of this show that I watch, um, 90 Day Fiance where these people get married, they have to come to the country using a K-9 visa, K-9 visa. Um, and it's this one lady on the show, oh my God, like I feel so bad for her because I just really feel like she keeps doing the same thing over and over again. She keeps falling for these really beautiful men that want nothing truly to do with her. Um, she was messing with this one one guy uh, from uh, from the Middle East. I forgot which part, but he's from the Middle East, and they he claimed that you know he wasn't into physical attraction. But once he got there, it's like, oh, okay, it does make a difference. Now she's talking to some new guy, and not saying that just because you're unattractive, you can't have somebody attractive, but. This woman lacks confidence. That it, if you got confidence, yeah, you can pull anybody. She does not have confidence. So, you know, she's not recognizing that people are using her. And I say all of that to say that I just feel like for some of you, you might be having a hard time distinguishing when someone's using you. And even though maybe your friends are trying to protect you or defend you, they're trying to be honest with you, you aren't, you still aren't able to see that. But both of these are about illusions. You guys are way off in your choices some type of way. Um, or it could be the other way around. Somebody that you keep trying to 
set boundaries with or say, hey, I, I mean it, I only want a friendship and they just can't see it, you know, they're still delusional or like, no, you know, I really feel like one day, one day we're going to be together. So basically somebody just doesn't get it. Um, I also feel like for some of you, you could be under the spell of someone's physical attraction. They could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you also could be dealing with the Libra, Cancer, Pisces, um, or, you know, any sign. So it looks like you guys are going to have a chance to connect with someone. These are either two different people or this is someone who you feel is both like a, a twin soul and um, a soulmate. It's like, it's possible that you may need to come to the decision, but you don't know. Maybe you're like, I don't know. What if what if what I'm feeling isn't real? What if what I'm feeling is just an illusion? And is, you are having a hard time distinguishing here. Some of you might decide to put things on hold until you have a clear understanding of, you know, what's good for you or what's real and what isn't real. Or maybe once you, maybe you've been receiving a lot of spiritual messages in your dreams and you're trying to figure out like, well, who is who? Like, I don't know who is who. One person is a soul, soulmate. You know, maybe you're questioning, are twin flames even real? You're like, are they even real? Nevertheless, I do see you having, you know, a spiritual connection with somebody. Um, even to the point of telepathy, where you can pick up on this person's thoughts. Um, I'm also getting someone, you're connecting with someone who maybe wants to take their time, or maybe this is you, maybe you're the one wanting to take your time, but someone wants you to hurry up and make some sort of decision. It either way, some sort of conflicting energies. One person wants to hurry, one, one person wants to wait. Um, one person is attractive, maybe one person is not so much. One person is in a relationship, the other person is single. So it's something very, you know, There, there's instability, there's difficult decisions that need to be made. Someone is taking forever. I do still feel like someone is being strung alone and they're like, I'm gonna keep going as long as they let me come in and out of their life, I'm gonna keep doing it. That might be you. Hmm. For some of you, this is an affair. For some of you, you are finding yourself in some sort of third party party relationship, or maybe you're unaware that you're in a third party relationship. Somebody is, you know, looking at the seven of cups here and the lovers coming out and, the, you know, all these twos and decisions that need to be made. Somebody feeling torn. Um, somebody is, it is coming off as, you know, the side piece whether it's a man or a woman. But it is a genuine connection. And the reason why there is this connection is because it's for a higher purpose. And, you know, maybe it is because you have that soul contract. Maybe you have a soul contract with both of these people and they need to be executed. You know, it's all a part of life. Maybe there's a lesson to learn. It was funny, I just saw a meme and it was like everything happens for a reason and then sometimes the reason is because you're just stupid and keep making the same decision that shit's true you know yeah you it's like you get involved with someone who's married it's not that it's so much and it is for a reason not saying that it's a right reason but maybe you do need to learn leave married people alone or just leave people be you know that's just but it had to happen you had to go through it to understand like i'll never do that again so I do feel like for some of you, you will be making some sort of special connections or there if you were already involved with someone and just waiting for someone to communicate, there will be communication between you and this person. Ooh, we got we got all the soul cards coming out. So 
Venus and Sagittarius, you guys have some important decisions. No wonder you're so confused. You're going to be confused because you, you don't know what you feel. For some of you, it might even be a, a situation where I've seen this energy too. For if there's like sexual confusion, maybe you're falling for someone and you're like, but I'm straight. Like, why am I having feelings for this person? Or I'm gay. Why am I having feelings for this type of person? Do you know how many times I've had like a couple of gay men in my lifetime that were like, she's so pretty. <laughs> and their friends were like, hello, you are, you are gay. <laughs> like, don't forget. And they were like, I know, but she's pretty. <laughs> So you might even make a gay person second guess themselves. <laughs> but I know that's not for everybody, but that did uh, give me a flashback of a couple of, that's happened a couple of times. Um, <clears throat> but regardless, I do feel that um, you are connecting with somebody, but it's it's kind of like you don't know where to take it. You don't know who this person is maybe you're trying to understand you're trying to take some sort of assessment of what this connection is you're like who is this per why has this person come into my life or what does it mean who are all these type of what are these relationship labels like you're asking all these questions and trying to figure something out i also feel like there's a need for patience everything uh, another t th thing i see with the justice is sometimes things happen in due time it's like nothing you can do to rush something you just have to allow it to play out and it's being reiterated here you know you've done the work there's nothing else to do but just kind of redirect your focus you know especially because I feel like things just when you think things are going good something happens and you guys become distant with one another someone gives you the cold shoulder all of a sudden you guys are playing tit for tat like oh you want to ignore me i can ignore you too even longer and you it comes in it, it the five of swords is just always that petty energy and it's usually unhealthy competition and both people are coming off as unaffected i get too many cups to say that somebody doesn't care it's just that they're being very guarded and distant and just like <clears throat> cutting people off um even though they're still thinking about them all the time i also feel like someone is in denial of a connection or let's say it was a situation where you're like um like people have told me like i feel like this the people who the person who you think is your twin flame is not really a twin flame i think your your real twin flame is still on the way or i think your real tw twin flame is someone else this might be your inner thoughts too you know it's just like i thought this person was my twin flame maybe i don't understand maybe i was wrong maybe someone was just a catalyst maybe you know so there's I feel like some of you are maybe confused about what a twin flame journey is or if confused about who your twin flame is and it gets to the point where you just say you know what fuck all these labels I just know I have a connection with somebody you know which is also some the way I've been feeling like you know what I try not to say the twin flame but I know people are still still using that word still trying to figure things out um so you might still be in that uh, I mean you might be in a similar situation where you're just kind of like what are these labels? Who is what? Who who do I move forward with? Who am I supposed to do spiritual work with? Do I want someone just physical? Some of you are just fed up. Like, I don't want any. I just want a soulmate. I hate all this spiritual stuff. It's driving me nuts. I feel like, though, there's still a need for you to confront your anxieties or your fears because, um, you know, it's, otherwise you'll continue to be haunted by these energies or these thoughts of this person like it's just like just deal with it so that you can escape whatever karmic contract not escape but resolve any type of karmic contract that you have because other than that it's just going to happen lifetime after lifetime until you get it right <laughs> all right so i hope this has helped feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you